All right, what's going on? Overconfident 17 year old talking about music once again. Now in this video, I'm going to now in this video, I'm going to strictly talk about instrumentals. I am not going. Okay, my audio interface. Is now in this video, I'm strictly going to be talking about my instrumentals. I'm not going to be going over my vocals. I do not actually make my vocals anymore. I go to a studio for them. I do write and perform them still, but I don't. You get you get the general. I could easily pro. I could. I could probably make my own vocals if I got the equipment and plugins. That's a lot of money, and I broke my foot, so I don't have a job right now. Uh, so, so if you're watching this, you're either a person who wants to learn production, a person who knows production and is just you know curious on what other people have, or you just want to watch a short, funny man talk about music once again. Either one of those options, you made the right choice. So, but let's get into this. So I started music production two years ago with this computer. Obviously, I've bought new equipment. I spend more money on plugins, instruments, and all that, and it's taken me really far. And eventually, I do plan on making this room a whole on studio. I just have to get money first. Let me give you a quick tour, and then afterwards, we'll go over a lot of the music aspect of it. It's dark right now because I don't have a light for my phone, and the front-facing camera doesn't like like lights. Okay, so here's the basics of it. I have a piano. Uh, uh, that 88 key piano that does MIDI, a Sterling ST150, a Shure SM58. I use the Sterling a lot for videos and stuff. If you can tell my, a lot of my videos, I use it. The Shure SM58 I do for my own vocals if I'm just recording something here. Two monitors and a light up keyboard. I'm one of those guys, you know, like, you know how those, you know how those. Dogs. I have the Yamaha HS5 studio monitors, a Phantom Power audio interface which is a lambda lexicon does not actually have one in it well it does but it's broken this thing is old i need a new one uh that's why this main nova synth right here i can't use because it doesn't have enough lines it only has two and the one line is broken it sounds all grainy and if i use the other one then i'd have to unplug the mic and it's a huge hassle you know Our, uh, humidifier my computer, the baby, I've had her since 2014, but I've rebuilt her, obviously. It used to be an Alienware computer that I re <clears throat> rebuilt. It has GeForce GTX Titan X, uh, 16 gigabytes of 2133 megahertz RAM, I think. I think that's the amount. Don't remember the motherboard. It's the Asus, I think, probably, or gigabyte, one of the two. A Mordecai 750 watt PSU. Uh, oh, yeah, and then the drives. It has this... Oh my, I uh, had, had a little issue, my four terabyte drive that everything is on literally fell and unplugged, so now my entire computer's bugging. Four terabyte drive, 500 gig SSD, and another 250 gig SSD. All my bandanas, because you know I, I, I love my bandanas, you see them ever. Couple beanies, uh, flash drives that don't work. I think screws, I think that they, they're on my computer, but I when I rebuilt it, I, I don't know where they went. And then a 32 gig micro SD card that you might, you know, need in the in the future. Uh, oh, that was the incorrect pin. That was the incorrect pin. That was the correct pin. Okay, so this cord is opening. That is not at all what I want. We are going to. We. Oh my. So I'm gonna open an old project first to give you an idea of what you know things used to look like. Uh, adapt to the change it was the first ever project i had made an instrument before and it was like oh yeah i'll make um i'll make vocals for it because why not i'm here and right i'm missing plugins i had to recently reset all my computers so i'll have to well then i can just it's a more softer piano but it has a higher velocity <laughs> That's not at all what it sounded like. Hold on. There's... There we go. As you could tell from that intro, you know, it's a little basic. The chord progression is really nice, right? But I didn't actually come up with that. I used a MIDI pack because... When I first started out, I used MIDI packs. Nothing wrong with it. It's actually a really good way to learn music theory like, you know, I did.
I mean, it's something. It's something, I guess. I, I don't really know how else to explain it. It's it, What else could you do about it, really? I'll open up older track than this. Its name isn't really the best. It's, you know, not something... You, you, listen, when, when you... It happens. You just kind of name them. You just kind of name them. But I used it a lot for my outro music rack when I made Siege videos, uh, 2020. This is the part right here where I put in the videos. So if you did watch those videos, probably not, it should sound familiar. As you get a little bit more advanced into your music skill and you go back to these older projects you'll point out what you did wrong like something i did wrong in here was that riser that crash 01a so something i did wrong with it was really high it's really loud i didn't mix it well enough into the song it kind of comes out a little bit the kick is a little bit abundant but i mean it works i guess the 808 i think i remixed because it's actually surprisingly good well not really what could be better but for the time, I think I came back and redid it. All right, so I'll actually show you the remake of this song that I made a couple months ago. So this one is a song I actually made recently. Uh, I'm not making it into one of my vocal songs. It's more likely going to be a beat that I'll sell. I th this, one's just, this one's just called Fart. It's, oh my God. Gosh, bro, it, it don't end. It don't end. So before I play this one, I guess I should say now my style has become more cinematic. I have a more movie approach to things. I want to make film scores when I'm older. Uh, that or just become an artist, one of the two. It, it shows, even when I make hip-hop beats, there's like a cinematic feel to it almost. It's weird, but I guess I'll play it. So this is the remake of that song. So yeah, that's that song. Uh, a lot better, a lot better than the old one uh, by a tremendous amount. So I guess I'll open another one. Here is my song, Hello. It was the first one I started really working on. I think it was the first one I completed and I made it when I got my new instruments. I'll play the chorus or the verse going into the chorus and show you like the transitions and the different things that I did to get the transition sound where it sounds like a transitions, but it doesn't at the same time, it's weird. To get that nice transition sound, there's a lot of things going on here. A lot of the main instruments are playing, uh, like this one. The melody is still playing. These are strings that kind of like rise up into it. With the bass guitar. Oh, hello, microphone going up and down as I speak. Then you have this riser. So I just play this specific part right here. Thank you. 
I'd be making these and sound like Beethoven, bro. I don't know how to explain it. I call myself Brentoven. Oh, look at that roller coaster down. It's kind of hard to explain. Your thought process just keeps increasing as you make music more and more. You start to realize what goes where, how the arrangement just becomes better in your head for no reason. So that was an example of a track I made in January, I think. Yeah, this was January. And I'll play... A track I just made probably a couple months ago, or maybe soon. It depends on what I'm feeling, whatever I open. That right there was an example of one thing in the album. I know it might not seem like much or may not even seem like your taste. It is more of an orchestraic part of the album, which there's quite a bit of, but there's a lot going on. And this is just one of them that make me happy that I've gotten somewhere. In two years, I've gotten to this spot where I'm like, I figured out my style, figured out what I want to do and how I'm going to do it. And I feel like I got it. I got it in grasp. And now I just need to work on it and just keep practicing it. That's it for this. Hope you enjoyed. Keep watching my videos. Stay updated. I have a lot of music I have been making. Make sure you like, subscribe. Leave a comment if you feel so enticed to. Uh, that's it for the out. Uh, yeah, bye.